Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube. This is your girl Stephanie, aka Ed Nihas Tusapakpa. Excuse me. And I'm here doing love relationship readings. Currently on the sign of Scorpio. So let's get into the energy. Um, divine forces of unconditional love. What does the sign of Scorpio need to know for their highest good in the area of love and relationships? Uh, divine forces of unconditional love. Um, I ask that you will bring in clear and accurate messages and also that you clear out any negative low vibrational energies that may be present. I send them away at lo with love and light, but they are not welcomed in this space. Um, so Scorpio, we have the nine of staves here, um, which is, you know, the de defense card. I did see the eight of cups, which is uh, the energy of walking away. So uh, Scorpio, it seems as though you're walking away from a situation. You have your walls up. You're just completely over it, um, over the situation. And as you walk away from it, you uh, receive victory. Um, but this person comes back in wanting to salvage the relationship. Um, as I see the Six of Cups here, wanting to reconcile, really focusing on the past. Um, but and then I see here the Two of Pentacles, like um, that unsure, um, confused energy. So you're not sure if you want to uh, want to take them back. And so we have, then we have here the Six of Swords moving on to calmer water. So you may be wanting to, um, you know, just be done with that past relationship and move on to perhaps a high priestess energy, one that you know, um, someone else that you know that is your uh, soulmate and your true partner. Or this could be you um, in the energy of confusion, but you move on to calmer waters and your intuition is telling you that this person um, that you have walked away from is truly your soulmate. So let's see. So we have the nine of ones here, which is that protective energy or perhaps having your walls up, boundaries up. So that's clarified by the nine of coins, which is the independent card. So maybe you have walked away from this person and you have your walls up. Give me clarity on the four of cups, please. And you're just over this past person, you know. Two of coins, again, that confusion, chaos energy. Um, and you're just over trying to, you're over being juggled. Perhaps this person um, had you in a third party uh, situation. And you're just over uh, trying to be being juggled or you're just tired of juggling and, and you're ready to commit to just one person. Um, so we have the victory card here, clarified by the Ten of Pentacles. So um, with you walking away and just focusing on yourself, being singled at the time, you are... Uh, healing you're healing yourself so again this person may come back slow and steady um, to try to bring in a reconciliation of the relationship but I don't feel like you are accepting it you know give me clarity on the two of circles two of pentacles And they're, they're coming in strong though. You know, they know that they've uh, perhaps messed up. And
you're confused you're, you're thinking about it but you're like you put me in a third party situation and so i'm thinking you're you're more um leaning towards the energy of moving on moving away from this uh connection and being single the nine of wands again you have your wall up wounded warrior energy you're tired of fighting and your intuition let's see here what your intuition is telling you about this seven of pentacles confusion you're you know let's see what give me clarity on the two of cups nine of swords so you're not feeling like uh, you're wanting to indulge in this relationship anymore it's, it's, it caused too much uh, pain and too much confusion in your life and you're just ready to move forward and find stable ground and stability within yourself Scorpio Let's get some messages from the Twin Flame uh, Conversations and Secrets deck here. So healing. Um, there's healing that uh, you're doing and this person is going to be forced to do, right? Because you decided to walk away from them. It says, I know I tore you apart, but the way you put yourself back together, it's beautiful. So you've done the healing, you know, and you standing your ground, not uh, accepting this person back in. And, you know, this person may have thought like, oh, I can do what I want. This person is going to take me back, but not this time, not this time. Deep thought. So they're, they're in deep thought right now possibly truly regretting um, how they handle things say I hate that I love you so much I've traveled the universe tripping over stars to find you the supporting energy is don't wait for me to make you happy I'll come when you found happiness within and maybe that's the message that you're um, telling this person you know because they put you in a third party situation perhaps because they you know didn't have the courage or the um, energy to find love within themselves they felt like they have to have it in you know in multiple relationships from multiple people and so Now you're in the energy of healing. You're finding, you know, happiness within and, and you no longer need this person. You know that you're better off without them. But now they're realizing that you are their person. They know that it's always been you. You know, they're in deep thought about it. You know, say, I hate that I love you so much. Your rejection would destroy me. Or has destroyed them. That's the reason why we have the two of cups here clarified by the nine of swords. It says, I've traveled the universe tripping over stars to find you and I've fucking messed it up like what the hell is what's coming out to support that bottom of the deck we have too many responsibilities you know so Scorpio you're feeling like you got so many too many things that you need to worry about at this time too many um, um, different things that you can focus your energy on so again you know you walked away you're healing
and has released, you know, or in, in, is, is in the energy of releasing this relationship. So we have the would you reject me card here. And at right now at this time, the, your person needs to heal themselves. They need to really look within themselves and see like, what is it that's causing me to feel like I need to have more than one person? Why am I, you know, so bound in lustful emotions? And that's because they hadn't found happiness within themselves. That's the reason why they have to go to other people and use them and be energy vampires. So if this person hasn't done the healing that they need to do, then yes, you will reject them. It says you're the last person on my mind before I fall asleep. Remember, we did have the nine of source energy, which is that nightmare energy. You know, they are really stressing out over the fact that you guys aren't together. And it says, I can't seem to find the words to say to you. But they're healing. Um, and we have the receptive card coming out to clarify that they they're healing. They they now have an open heart. Uh, they now in a more soft in softness. Um, because they're they're uh, thinking back on you guys' connection. They're thinking about thinking back on how nurturing you were to them. And they took you for granted. You know, it says, I know I tore you apart, but the way you put yourself back together again um, is beautiful. Clarified by, it's always been you. I miss you regardless of how things seem. Clarified by memories, you know. They, you know, miss the memories that you guys um, created together. So we have here deep thought clarified by you are my person they're in deep thought they, they see that you are their person and it says i looked you up online to see what you've been up to so they kind of they deep thought about you they think about you all the time so sometimes they go and they you know check on your page and, and they may not let you know about that you know here with the unspoken card regrets lost words disappointment they're in deep thought about the things that they did not say they're in deep thought about you know, the chemistry that you guys had, the gentleness, the nurturing energy that you brought to them. And now they're in the energy of like, I hate that I love you so much. Your rejection would destroy me. Um, clarified by our connection still affects me. Uh, clarified by chemistry. Yes, you guys had a deep chemistry, a deep connection, a spark, a passion, a desire that this person has not found in anyone else. But again, the illusions of their uh, past, the and here I see the muted card, muted energy that kind of got left behind or fell down. And so you guys may have muted your energy towards them, you know, and now they're really feeling the pain. They're really feeling it. You know, it says I've traveled the universe tripping over stars to find you and I fucked this up. What the hell? You know, it says seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down and that's not always easy to deal with. They know that, you know, they were unbalanced um, and living in illusions, had clouded judgment. You know, they looked at you like everyone else and didn't really truly see your um, your value. And now you may have blocked them from your energy and they're really feeling it right now at this time. Uh, trapped, stuck, uh, tied down captive you know um they could be in a um they could be married and they're wanting to come to you you could be married wanting to come to this other person 
you're seeing uh, truly that this person is your person, not the person that you're married to or that they're married to, but um, a lot of damage has been done. Right. So, uh, the spirit just wants you be to be in the in the energy of the Queen of Pentacles, right? Committing to yourself, um, and seeking new opportunities, right? Nurturing yourself and. You know, perhaps working with the moon and the different cycles to begin manifesting new love. To begin manifesting the commitment that you are deserving of and that you know that you want. Now that you've been through this situation where things didn't work out, you have you, you can add to your list now uh, more things and become even more clear on what you want to bring in. And you could possibly use the next moon cycle to help you manifest that. All right, so um, let me see what advice card may come up for you guys. Am I communicating my needs? It says your needs matter. What are you needing right now that you haven't communicated? What are you afraid of? Is it possible that you are that what you are fearing is not true? So maybe you're fearing uh, speaking your truth, and that if you speak it, that it still won't come forth. That this person still won't won't do those th things that you need. But you know, you have to voice it in order to to for things to unfold. You know, to truly know. So it says today, so action, journal these answers. What are my needs? Am I saying no and yes enough based on my desires? Am I, tell, am I telling my full truth? Do I believe that my needs matter and do I share them with others? Exactly, do I ask for what I want? When communicating my needs, what am I resisting and with whom? What? do I need in order to feel safe enough to express my needs so um, that either can be for you or for your person or maybe these are questions that you can ask your partner to ha perhaps keep them from you know going to uh, third party relationships allowing you know making space for them to be comfortable to express themselves and maybe that's what you are needing in your next relationship you know maybe you weren't comfortable expressing your true self to this person and, and in that case when you notice that you can't you don't feel comfortable and you can't express yourself to this person then that probably was the time that you should have or could have moved on you know um but who knows? Take it as how it resonates and use it where you think um, and how you think it will, be, it will best suit you. All right, so that's what I have. Hope that helped. Um, I love you all and until next time.